Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Rogers. I am the inventor of the Shot Pack and the president and CEO of Shot Shell Technologies. I'm bringing you a product today. It's called the Shot Pack. It's a shotgun shell dispenser that I want to tell you a little bit of the features and benefits to. Uh, the Shot Pack is made, of, or the Shot Pack first off is for 12 gauge, 16 gauge, or 20 gauge shotgun shell dispensers. I invented the Shot Pack back in 2005, and at the Shot Show, the uh, 2005 Sporting and Hunting Outdoor Trade Show in Las Vegas, we were actually nominated for Product of the Year in the Accessories Product Division. Uh, we didn't get the nomination, but we were in the nominating category at that point in time, so that was our introductory low rollout. Uh, we have sold the Shot Pack in multiple large uh, sporting retail outlets, many of probably who you know. Uh, the Shot Pack has been sold uh, domestically in the United States. It's been sold overseas in Europe. We've sold them to police departments, um, et cetera. Um, the Shot Pack was developed as a way for me as a, as a sportsman. Uh, I was looking for a way in which that I could easily manage my shells and, not, and basically stop fumbling for shells and looking around and knowing what type of shot load I was actually had in my weapon or in my, in my bird pouch or whatever it was. Uh, so that was the purpose of inventing the shot pack. Uh, the shot pack, this is a shot pack I have on either side of me. This is, a, this is my 12 gauge uh, version of the shot pack. The shot packs hold 11 shotgun, shell dispen uh, shotgun shells. The reason for 11 when we actually invented this was for several reasons. One, the shot pack is lightweight. When it's empty, it only weighs about nine ounces. It's made of the highest impact Lexan plastic that you can have. Uh, it, the shot pack itself has four screws on the back of it, all stainless steel, and the spring mechanisms that are inside are all stainless steel as well. Basically, to operate the shot pack, all you do is you lift up on this lever. We've made, we've made some features and benefits to this, and on this lever, which we refer to as the cradle, there's some outgoing tabs here, so you can actually feel them with your fingertips. Whether you've got gloves on or whether you have bare fingers, you can feel them with your fingertips. So you push up on the, up on the cradle, it releases it into the cradle, and then in the, underneath it here, we've had this actually in the manufacturing process, we've had this cored out as an ergonomic device, or an ergonomic feature to it, so you don't have to try to pick your shells. Basically, you can just roll your, roll your finger through and drop them right out, into your, right out into your fingertips. We basically also, to load the shot pack, <coughs> excuse me, we actually load it with the shells in reverse casings. Um, the reason is it'll hold 11 that way. Uh, and the reason we made it out of 11, uh, made it for 11, is because typically in most states you can have three, uh, three shells legally in your gun. Well, with two shot packs and three in the weapon, that's a, full, that's a full box of shells. And so therefore, you know you're carrying a full box of shells out in the field with you. We've also, as a feature to this, to the pouch, we've put on a strap. I call it the keeper strap. You put that strap on there, it's a nice secured Velcro. In the event you're out in the field and you inadvertently hit the, hit the cradle, you're not going to lose your shell. When you pull the strap down, the shell's basically ready to dispense into your, into your fingertips. Um, the pouch that we actually have for this is a couple of features to the pouch. One is that it's, all, it's a vinyl lined pouch. Several reasons for the vinyl lining. It actually makes the shot, the shot pack basically uh, water resistant. Uh, so the vinyl lining in there helps with that. Uh, the other part of that, it helps with noise dampening for the shot pack as well. At the top of the shot pack, there's actually a clear ticket window up here. And we have in there, we, uh, in the clear ticket window, uh, we have a card, an insert card that goes into there. And that insert card basically designates if you've got 12 gauge, 16 gauge, 20 gauge, if you're carrying two and three quarter inch shells, three inch shells, uh, if they're lead, they're steel, or they're other, some guys shoot other, like bismuth, etc. Also, the shot load size, we got eight, sixes, fours, deuces, or other. So all you gotta do is pull the, pull the clear ticket window out, uh, pull the card out of the clear ticket window, and change these out. If you so desire to change them out or to mark them, uh, whichever way that you wanna mark them, they're a little difficult to get out. We don't want them coming out easily. Anyway, they do come out like that. And then basically you insert that back into the clear ticket window. With the shot pack, when you receive the shot pack, You'll also receive 21 uh, clear ticket window cards. You just got to take a pair of scissors, cut them out uh, for your usage. Also within the shop pack, we also have a description in here about actually how to change out the color-coded cradles, which I'm going to refer to now. 
When you get your shop pack, it's going to look just like this. This is basically just a clear bag. Um, it tells you a little bit about the shop pack and it, on the side here. We have four color-coded cradles, red, yellow, orange, and green. The purpose of red, yellow, orange, and green is we worked with some police departments, and part of their concerns and considerations were basically that uh, what, they, what they wanted to do is to have a way to designate the type of loads that they were carrying. So we designated red as lethal, yellow as chemical load, orange is like a doorbuster load, and green was a non-lethal load. So when they went to go grab their go bags, uh, uh, they knew exactly what type of shot cell load that they were actually carrying. For the sportsman's version of this, although, when we developed it for the sportsman and thought, well, you know what, there's guys, even though we have the clear ticket window on top here, there also may be application for, for people out in the field that might say, oh, I want to use my red for my number four uh, steel, uh, number four load, three inch number four steel. Okay, yellow would be for this. The other thing is it's just fashionable. <laughs> so you can, you can have your color-coded cradles whichever, whichever way you want uh, for a description of the type of, shells, the type of shells that you're carrying. I want to go back to one thing that I mentioned about the, about the fabric line pouch. There are other devices um, out there for carrying your shotgun shells around. Um, some of them are big, some of them are cumbersome. Some things, for example, they don't all also give you the ability to keep your shells dry. As much as we pay for our shot shells, we don't want them rusting. We want to try to keep them dry. Well, in this particular case, with these shotgun shells and this device, basically this, it clips on somehow. Not exactly sure how or where it clips on. I've, um, don't use them. I use the shot pack. But these shells are all rusted. So if you're standing out in the marsh or in the middle of the woods somewhere, it's raining, which a lot of times it's raining when we hunt. Let's face it. Uh, these are all rusted out, so now the shells are basically no good. So that is one way to carry your shot shells. Another way, that a couple of other versions of things that are out there. This is like an ammo pouch. Basically, a, well, you, you try to close it up. Uh, it's a little difficult to get closed when, you, when they're full of shells. And then you try to roll that over, and now you just got a big, big glob, and not quite sure what you're going to do with that or where you're going to store that. The other thing is you don't know what kind of shells you've got. Are these lead, these steel, these threes, th uh, three inch, two and three quarter inch, what type is in there? You also, there's other things like a pouch and you're walking through the field and your shells fall out of there. Eh, probably not a good thing to be losing shells out in the field. The other thing is, a lot of times we get home after hunting and we say, oh, we got all these shells, you pull them out of your bird pouch, uh, you know, out of your vest, and you throw them in a box. And then you go to use them again and they've rattled around in here and then you look at them and you're like, well, I can't quite tell if that's steel or if that's lead or what exactly that is. Well, probably until you get out in the field and the game warden wants to check in. He gets his magnet out and determines, well, those aren't steel, those are lead, and you're illegal to be shooting lead in that particular place. And so you get a big fat ticket. So we, don't, we want to try to avoid, uh, avoid those types of things as well. When you're done with your shot packs, the cool thing about this as well, they will stack. So you can, when you get home, you put these in your, in your game room or what have you, put them in your, in your secured closet, and you can stack your shot packs. So these basically are six packs, which almost represents three cases, three boxes of shells. So you have the ability to, to stack them. A couple other things that we developed for the shot pack as far as carrying the shot pack goes, the, the standard clip that actually comes with the shot pack when we sell the package to you, this basically comes with a standard belt clip. We also developed a clip. This clip has multiple features and benefits to it. One is you, if you're in a, bo a boat, you can hang it over the gunnel of your boat. If you're in a duck blind or a goose blind, you can hang it over the, you know, over the railing of the goose blind or the duck blind. The other thing about it is if you have a duck blind that's permanent, you can also cut the top of this off. And you can, we have two insets right here that you can actually screw this to the side of a piece of wood or it can be permanently affixed into a, into a duck blind or goose blind, that type of stuff. So uh, for guides and outfitters out there, if you wanted your clients to have shop packs, you could supply that. You could, put this, uh, you could put this clip in there and basically they could hold their shotgun shells in that form and fashion. We've developed two other things. These are actually in production right now. They're not available for sale, but they will be soon. These are belt uh, loop clips. This belt loop clip, this is a one inch clip. It can go on a one inch belt. We also have it developed into a three inch belt clip. So for if you have a large belt or your tactical or military or police department, 
it can go onto your duty belt as well. So these will be available very, very shortly. We have those two available for you as well. To change out, to change out your shop pack cradles, basically what you do is you would want to take your shop pack, you take it off the pouch. Oh, by the way, before, you, before I explain that to you, I want to explain one more thing to you. We developed this clip, this clip that's on here, is a, a, this is all patented. One thing also I want to mention to you, this is all made in the USA. There's no offshore uh, manufacturing done here whatsoever. Everything you see here is made in the USA. I am a, a Navy veteran as well, so my company is a veteran-owned company. But when we developed and patented this, we, want a way that, we wanted a way that this would not come off in the field. We've tested and developed and did evaluation on all types of clips, and so we had a design engineer that actually developed this clip for us. This will literally rotate 360 degrees without coming off. The only way this shop pack is going to come off is if you turn the clip upside down, basically, and you have to give it a little bit of a little bit of a bump there to get it out, and then it will then it will come out, and then you can take it off. To change your cradles in the shop pack, basically you take the shop pack, you unzip it, you pull the shop pack out of the out of the digital out of this particular case, a digital camel cover, vinyl lined. You pull it out. There's four screws on the back here. These are all stainless steel screws. The internal components in here, the springs are all stainless steel as well, so it's not gonna it's not gonna weather. So when you take the back off of this, the cradle that's in here, there's two torsion springs on either side. You basically pull this out. You take one of your cradles, whichever color-coded fashion that you're using for the day. You put your torsion springs back on, and you basically reinsert the cradle back into the shop pack. You put your four screws on, and now you've got a color-coded shop pack that you can go out into the field with. Okay. We also offer a lifetime guarantee on the shop pack. In the event of any manufacturing defects, we'll send you a new shop pack, uh, basically free of charge. Just pay for shipping and handling on that. Uh, if a spring or a screw or something like that comes out or breaks, whatever, we'll send you a replacement of that, no cost to you whatsoever. Um, of the Lexan plastic, is very, very durable. It's got a crush weight, probably somewhere around 600 pounds. You're not going to crush this. You could throw it across the parking lot. I'm not going to do a lot of gimmicks with you today to show you how durable it is. It's just made out of the highest impact Lexan plastic uh, that's available on the market to be produced. Uh, these are black in color. Uh, and when you put the shop pack cover on them, basically what you've got is you've got a completed version as well with a water resistant cover. Uh, which also gives you a noise dampening ability for the shop pack. You put the cover on, you zip it up, you put it on your belt clip, and you're ready to go. Once again, I thank you very much for watching our video today. If you have any other questions, uh, please call our company. We'd be glad to help you in any way that we can. One more thing I'd like to mention. I did, excuse me, uh, I did mention that we have a 16 and 20 gauge version of this. For the 16 and 20 gauge version, we actually have to replace the cradle uh, you can buy the cradles separately, 16-gauge uh, slash 20-gauge cradles, and you would just replace the cradle. You still use the original shop pack. You're just going to want to replace your cradle with a 16-20-gauge cradle that we can uh, provide to you as well. Once again, thank you very much for watching our video today. We appreciate it, and have fun out there hunting. Thank you.